Culture is the lifeblood of a vibrant society. It's expressed in diverse ways. The way we remember our pasts, how we entertain ourselves, and in the expression of our celebration. The Yoruba tribe, also known as Omokaro Ojiri, has uniquely distinguished themselves in showcasing their culture. Omokaro Ojiri literally means the people who ask, good morning, did you wake up well? This refers to the Yoruba's culture of greetings. The Yoruba are among the most urbanized people in Africa. Its cities have always been among the most populous in Africa, Ibadan and Lagos particularly. Most contemporary Yoruba are Muslims or Christians, albeit Many of the principles of the traditional faith of their ancestors are either knowingly or, or unknowingly upheld by a significant proportion of the populations in Nigeria, Bene, and Togo. The Yoruba religion, also known as Isheshe, comprises the traditional religious concepts and spiritual practices of the Yoruba people. The concept of Orisha, the godly form that reflects the manifestation of God in the Yoruba religious system has been one of the most common Yoruba traditional concepts. There are different Orishas. Shongo, the god of thunder. Eshuelegbara, the guardian of the crossroads. Oritameta, as Yoruba will call it. Yemoja, the caring mother. Yemoja, is a water spirit of the Yoruba religion. She is regarded as the mother of all Orishas. Yemoja literally means mother of fish children. Yeje Omoeja. She is motherly and strongly protective. She is the protector of women. She is also often depicted as a mermaid. It is also quite difficult to distinguish her from Oshun because of their depictions at their shrines. Yemaja is the mother of Oshun. Oshun is also one of the seven African powers. Uh, Yemaja is listed as third in the, that pantheon behind um, Obatala and Shango. But um, Oshun is after. Normally, all seven of the African powers are worshipped in a very big way. But Right now, with the situation as it is, the, the unrest in the country, we decided to give that respect to what is going on politically. Although we are not a political house, but we don't want to make it look as if while there is problems, while, while, while there is problem and unrest, we are still studying to jollificate and, you know, so we wanted to minimize the celebration, but at the same time still give the honor to the goddess as it was supposed to be done. Yemoja is portrayed as having humongous breasts in order to breastfeed her many children. Yemoja festival 
was celebrated on the 18th of September 2021 at Ileife, Oshun State. Ileife is an ancient Yoruba city. Archaeologically, the settlement of Ileife showed features of urbanism in the 12th to 14th century era. Ileife is seen as the spiritual homeland of the Yoruba. of water, mother of the earth, Yemoja spirit. You can see its manifestation already. We are in Ileife in Oshun State for Yemoja festival. The rain attested to Yemoja being a water spirit. I met her on a beach in Tobago. I was just there on vacation more or less and um, she just came to me. I was on the sand. I was in full awareness. I wasn't sleeping or anything. And she appeared out of the water to me, gave me my instructions. And I had to go to an Ifa priestess to confirm what I'd seen because I had no idea what I'd seen. But she told me I should go to an Ifa priestess. And I went. And the priestess then explained to me what had happened and you know that that was a confirmation that the goddess wanted me to serve her so i've been serving her ever since yemoja's colors are white and blue noticed on its worshippers it was a palm and pageantry at this year's yemoja festival at the palace of the onirisa it was always palm and pageantry at yemoja's festival at the palace of the onirisa Amongst the early arrivals were the Orisha Aje worshippers. However, Dr. Ayodile Amik the Yemoja priestess has this to say. Money is the only um, money is the only thing that can help them. Actually, there are other things that can help you more than money. Money is just a tool. Okay. Money is not important actually. Yeah. But if you know what to do with the money when you get it, of course, she can help you to have whatever you want. Money is very easy. If you ask her for money, yes, she will give you money. But she also knows to ask you, why do you need this money? Mm. And counsel you to use any money in the correct way. So it's not just coming and asking for money. Yes, she will give you money. She will give you gold. She will give you jewels. She will even give you a husband, you know? That one is very simple, very easy for her. Just come, you make your supplications. If you notice in the pool, there are several fish that are there. Those are her messengers. So all you need to do, you just write her a small letter. Okay. Once you drop it into the pool and the fish receives it, you can say, Otisheshe. <laughs> I 
The procession moved to the Yemoja Shrine as Ilode Ileife. is Yemoja's shrine. The worship will begin in a bit. Come along with us. Guess what? Eshu, Elegbara, Ogola Aroye, 
a jungle law kunri ode eshu la alu came to pay homage at the yemoja shrine <laughs> The procession is here at the Yemoja Shrine, led by the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, Enito, Ogunwusi, Ojaja the Second. Kabiesi's forefather was Oba Orayegba, Ojaja the First, who was the 44th Oni of Ife, ruling from 1878 to 1880. Oba Ojaja II is the 51st and current Oni of Ife. By the virtue of Kabiesi's responsibility as the spiritual leader of the Yoruba people, saddled with making supplications to God and the Orisha on behalf of the Yoruba tribe and the world at large during annual festivals, this Yemoja festival was not an exception.
Supplication and sacrifice, the procession departed with the Oni leading the way back to his palace. It was gathered that after this Yemoja festival, the Oni would be in seclusion and denial for seven days, communing with the ancestors and praying for his people in preparation for the Olojo festival. Oh, my God. 